Laude to Jesus Christus, praise be Jesus Christ. Welcome to this live broadcast coming to you from the Sistine Chapel of the Feast on the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. Pope Francis will preside over the celebration of the Holy Mass in which 13 children will be baptized. My name is Father Paul Samasumo and I'll bring you the translation of the text and live commentary of this special celebration welcoming these young Christians in our midst. On behalf of Medcan Media, I would like to welcome our partner broadcasters, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks USA, Shalom TV India, EWTN Television, Salt and Light TV, Art Madashan TV. Welcome to our listeners of Luminous Radio, Radio Maria, Papua New Guinea. To those of you joining us through the various Vatican media channels, that is our Vatican News English YouTube channel, Facebook live stream, and not forgetting our shortwave radio listeners wherever you are, to the various sun and religious stations all over the world, welcome. You will find more detailed information about the celebration of today uh, on our website, vaticannews.va. And now the Holy Father, ready to start the Mass. Pace sia con voi. On this occasion of the baptism, the Holy Father will initiate the rite of baptism through what is known as a dialogue with the godparents and the parents of these children to be baptized. At the beginning of this celebration, I turn to you, parents and godparents with the questions proper to the rite of baptism. What name do you give to your children? Lorenzo. Damiano Vittorio Arsenio. Damiano. Ludovica. Olimpia Beatrice. Diletta. Livia Sofia. Matilde Maria Pia. Francesca. Amalia Cataleya Gonzalez. The names of the children. What do you ask of God's church for your children? Baptism. In asking for baptism for your children, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising them in the faith so that keeping God's commandments, they may love the Lord and their neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? And you, God parents, are you ready to help the parents of these children in their duty? Dear children, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ, our Savior, and after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. So there you see the parents bring their children before the Holy Father for him to make a sign of the cross on their foreheads. Signing of candidates with the sign of the cross is an ancient practice that goes back to the fourth century. It is a sign that as Christians we are united with Christ and we are not ashamed of the Lord's cross. So the parents do the same as well as their God parents. I know that in some parts of the world today is not Baptism Sunday but Epiphany. For pastoral reasons, the Feast of Epiphany is moved to Friday, from Friday to Sunday in some countries. In the Vatican, Epiphany was celebrated on Friday and so, the, and so today is the Feast of the Baptism of our Lord. We remember that when John, when Jesus was ready to begin his ministry, he went to the Jordan to be baptized by John the Baptist. 
With the Feast of Baptism of the Lord, the liturgical celebration of Christmas comes to an end and ordinary time of the liturgical calendar begins. As you no doubt already know, the Sistine Chapel is situated in the Vatican's Apostolic Palace. This is the official residence of the Pope. The Sistine Chapel is famous for its magnificent, magnificent frescoes that you can see already surrounding uh, this environment. Most famous is the, cha is the ceiling and the Last Judgment, both painted by Michelangelo. In 1981, Pope Francis, Pope John, Saint Pope John II, Saint, Saint Pope John Paul II, began the papal tradition of baptizing children in the Sistine Chapel every year on the feast of the baptism of the Lord. So, for the last 42 years, the Sistine Chapel, this Renaissance masterpiece on the feast of baptism, becomes, so to speak an ordinary parish with baptisms being conducted here. No doubt when these children grow up and they look back at this, it will be something very, very significant in their lives. No doubt also in the lives of the parents and other children, as those of you who are watching on TV can see some of the excited children accompanying their brother or sister who is to be baptized today. A glorious and joyful day it is. As the choir led us at the beginning, no ikanteremo gloria te, we sing glory to you. The choir now sings the Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy.
them. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son. Grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We will now have the first reading, and it is from the book of Isaiah, sorry, I had to find that. <laughs> the first reading from the book of Isaiah. Dal libro del profeta Isaia. Così dice il Signore. Thus says the Lord. He is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establish justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm from Psalm 29 the Lord who bless his people with peace. Il Signore benedirà il suo popolo con la pace. al Signore figli di Dio, date al Signore gloria e potenza, date al Signore la gloria del suo nome, prostratevi al Signore nel suo atrio santo. La voce del Signore sopra le acque, il Signore sulle grandi acque, la voce del Signore è forza, la voce del Signore è potenza. Suo tempio tutti dicono gloria. Il Signore è seduto sull'oceano del cielo. 
Il Signore siede re per sé. his people with peace. The second reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the Lord, the way that he sent to the Israelites. As he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of all, what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. The Alleluia verse. The heavens were opened, and the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son, listen to him. Alleluia. Il Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. Dal Vangelo secondo Matteo. The Gospel of according to Matthew. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it for now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. And now we prepare to listen to a few words of homily from the Holy Father.
cari genitori, grazie per portare qui ai vostri figli. Dear parents, thank you for bringing your children here for them to enter the, ch the church. Sometimes we forget when we were baptized. It was like a, a birthday because birth baptism makes us be reborn as Christians. So I advise you to teach your children that the sacrament of baptism is like a birthday. This is the homework that I'm giving to you. And then let us reflect that these children whom we are bringing here are starting a new path in life. So it's up to you, parents and godparents, to help them right from when they are children, so that teach them their prayers, so that they know the Christian gestures and they know how to pray, because it is prayer that will give them the force they need for life. The first thing that you must pray with them is pray to Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. When someone is annoyed with God and is far away from God, Mary, our mother, the Blessed Mother, is always near and helps us to come back to God. The Blessed Virgin Mary is Mother. She is always with us. So mothers are always like that. That these children will learn how to be Christians. Children are quiet now, but it just needs one of them to start, and then they will all join in crying. If they are hungry, feel free to breastfeed them with all the liberty here. It's the feast. This is a great feast of a new Christian setting forth, and you help your children. Maybe some of these children are feeling hot. You have covered them with too much blankets. Let them be free because we are, we are celebrating with them. Thank you for this decision of bringing these children to be baptized. Let us now continue with the baptism. A few words of homily there from the Holy Father, speaking from the heart. He, on such an occasion, he doesn't have prepared text, but he speaks from the heart. And we have heard him remind us that actually, remind his parents and the godparents that our baptism is like a second birthday and that the parents should take time to teach the children prayers right from the beginning, even the gestures of the sign of the cross. And uh, he also reminded uh, the parents that this is the feast of the children. So the children should be comfortable and um, the parents should feel free to breastfeed them if they want to or to make them comfortable as possible because the feast today is the feast for the children. Prayer will also keep these children focused because when they encounter problems in future, it is to prayer they will turn to. Beloved brethren, let us confidently raise our prayers to God the Father. Let us pray together, Lord, hear us. Pour out your spirit on Pope Francis and all bishops. Lord, hear us. Welcome by way of baptism these children into your church. 
make of government leaders men and women of peace grants serenity, health, and wisdom to all children. Bless and sanctify our families. Change the hearts of sinners and those who are violent. Console the suffering and those who are in anguish. Let us now invoke the intercession of all the saints, the litany of saints. Almighty and ever living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to deliver us from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for these children, set them free from original sin, make of them a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell in them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We anoint you with the oil of salvation. In the name of Christ our Savior, may he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. So this is the stage of anointing before baptism. In everyday life, we often use oil of one kind or another as a soothing and healing ointment. Many ailments are cured by medicines that are oil-based. And in this case, since these children are starting their journey, we pray that they will be strengthened by the anointing with oil of catechumens. Historically, the Feast of Baptism was celebrated as one of manifestation of the Lord. The other manifestation feasts of the Lord are Christmas, Epiphany, 
and the wedding at Cana. Eventually, the Latin church began to celebrate each of these manifestations separately. Each reveals Christ in a slightly different way. The birth of Christ at Christmas revealed Christ to the Israelites. Epiphany, or the Feast of the Wise Kings, is the revelation of Christ to the Gentiles, while the baptism of the Lord is the revelation of the Trinity. The wedding at Cana and the miracle of wine reveals Christ's trans transformation of the world. Beloved brethren, let us pray to God the Father Almighty that these children may be reborn to new life by water and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Father is going to bless the water that will be used for the baptism of these children. Most merciful Father, from the font of baptism, you have made the new life of your children well up within us. You have been pleased to unite by water and the Holy Spirit all the baptized into one people in your Son, Jesus Christ. You free us by the spirit of your love, whom you pour into our hearts so that they may be delight in our peace. You choose the baptized that they may joyfully proclaim to all nations the gospel of Christ. And now be pleased to bless this water by which these children are to be baptized, for you have called them to this cleansing water of rebirth in the faith of the church that they may have eternal life through Christ our Lord. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present these children for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, they shall receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring them up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in their heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept responsibility, renew the vows of your own baptism, reject, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus Christ, for this is the faith of the church, this is the faith which these children are about to be baptized. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no master over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author of and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, that Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This, brothers and sisters, this is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord.
the Holy Father will now baptize the children at the baptism font. Beautiful baptism font that you can see there in the Sistine Chapel. che Santiago riceve il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme avevamo professato. Sì, lo voglio. So the formula is that the Holy Father asks them, is it your will that your child should be baptized in the faith of the Church which we have all professed with you? And then the Holy Father proceeds to baptize the children. The pouring of water on the heads of these children is a sign of washing and cleansing. In baptism, water is a sign of being washed from sin and the beginning of a new life with God. Through water, we are raised to new life with Christ. Gabriele Levi, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Ludovica riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Ludovica, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Damiano Vittorio Arsenio riceve il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Sì, lo vogliamo. Damiano, Damiano Vittorio Arsenio, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Diletta riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Diletta, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Matilde Maria Pia riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Matilde Maria Pia, io te battezzo nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Amalia Cataleggia riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Amalia Cataleggia, io te battezzo nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Livia Sofì riceva il battesimo della Chiesa, nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Livia Sofì, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Francesca riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, sì lo, vogliamo. lo vogliamo. Francesca, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo.
Volete dunque che Olimpia Beatrice riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Olimpia Beatrice, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Damiano riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Damiano, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Matilde e Maria ricevano il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Lo vogliamo, sì, sì, lo vogliamo. Matilde e Maria, io te battesso nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Volete dunque che Lorenzo riceva il battesimo nella fede della Chiesa che tutti insieme abbiamo professato? Sì, lo vogliamo. Lorenzo, io te battezzo nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. So there you have it, all 13 of them, baptized by the Holy Father, using the formula, is it your will? that the name of the child should be baptized in the faith which we have all professed with you and then the parents would and their good parents responded yes would like that yes it is and the holy father baptized the children all smiles here unusually quiet babies they are So the next stage is that they are going to be anointed with chrism, the oil of chrism. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with a chrism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, So may you live always as members of this body, sharing everlasting life. Those watching on television, Cardinal Karievsky, concelebrating with the Holy Father and anointing the children on behalf of the Holy Father, who is the presider. Christ, the word Christ means the anointed one. With this baptism, these children become other Christ. They are anointed. And each one of us actually as Christians are called to be other Christ. The prayer of anointing draws attention to three kinds of anointed people whom we find in the Old Testament the priest, the prophet, and the king. And we heard the Holy Father pray that as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you always live as members of his body, sharing everlasting life.
Dear children, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Again, just as we have heard in the prayer for this part of the baptismal ceremony known as the clothing with the white garment, depending on various countries and traditions, the white garment is usually a shawl that is wrapped around the person that is being baptized. Sometimes it can be a dress. It depends on the different traditions. In essence, the church wraps these newly baptized Christians in a white garment. It is a sign of acceptance. They now belong to the community of Christians, the community of faith. But we know also that white is a symbol of purity and cleanliness. So the white baptized, the white baptismal garment shows new and pure beginnings. And now the next stage is that the children, uh, or rather the parents and the godparents, will be presented with a lit candle. Receive the light of Christ. The baptized person receives the light and is encouraged to live their life in such a way that others who see this light shine, be inspired by it, and maybe even be attracted to come to the faith. The light comes from the main Easter candle, and we always speak of Christ as the light of our lives, dispelling all forms of darkness. Just a word on the concelebrants, concelebrating with the Holy Father, uh, His Eminence Cardinal Konrad Karajewski. He is the Papal Almona, 
Also, there is Cardinal Fernando Vegas. President, parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. When the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. May the Lord Jesus who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. So the prayer there over ears and the mouth in other words, may the Lord touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. Being pro, uh, the Holy Father being helped there by the two cardinals, Cardinal Conrad Karajewski and also Cardinal Fernando Vegas, who is president of the Pontifical Commission for the Vatican City State. So in essence, that is the baptismal rite that we have just experienced. Uh, I must say, very moving and solemn ceremony. In this magnificent, in this magnificent environment of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican's Apostolic Palace. Just in case you've just joined us, this is the live transmission of the Baptism Mass coming to you live from the Vatican Sistine Chapel. Pope Francis just finished baptizing 13 children and the Mass now continues with the liturgy of the Eucharist at Offertory.
Pregate, fratele e sorelle, perché il mio e vostro sacrificio sia gradito a Dio Padre Onipotente. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise of you and glory of your name, his name for our good and the good of his holy church. Accept, O oh Lord, the offering we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. In alto i nostri cuori. Solo rivolte al Signore. Rendiamo grazie al Signore nostro Dio. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you Constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy. So if you are watching or following this broadcast and have with you your Sunday Missal, the Eucharistic prayer is taken from the second Eucharistic prayer. Lo spezzò, lo dieda. Giatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo, offerto in sacrificio per voi. Allo stesso modo, dopo aver cenato, prese il calice, di nuovo ti rese grazie, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e bevetene tutti, questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alleanza, versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me.
mistero della fede. Annunciamo la tua morte, Signore, proclamiamo la tua risurrezione nell'attesa della tua venuta. Celebrando il memoriale della morte e risurrezione del tuo Figlio, ti offriamo, Padre, il pane della vita e il calice della salvezza. E ti rendiamo grazie perché ci hai resi degni di stare alla tua presenza a compiere il servizio sacerdotale. Ti preghiamo umilmente per la comunione al corpo e al sangue di Cristo, lo Spirito Santo ci riunisca in un solo corpo. Ricordati, Padre, della tua Chiesa diffusa su tutta la terra e qui convocata nel giorno in cui Cristo ha vinto la morte e ci ha resi partecipi della sua vita immortale. Rendila perfetta nell'amore, in unione con il nostro Papa Francesco, i presbiteri e i diaconi. Ricordati anche dei nostri fratelli che oggi hai liberato dal peccato e rigenerato dall'acqua e dallo Spirito Santo. Tu, che li hai inseriti come membra vive del corpo di Cristo, e scrivi i loro nomi nel Libro della Vita. Ricordati anche dei nostri fratelli e sorelle che si sono addormentati nella speranza della risurrezione e nella Tua misericordia di tutti i defunti, ammettili alla luce del Tuo volto. Di noi tutti, avi misericordia, donaci di aver parte alla vita eterna insieme con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, San Giuseppe e suo Sposo gli Apostoli e tutti i Santi, che in ogni tempo ti furono graditi, e in Gesù Cristo, tuo Figlio, canteremo la tua lode e la tua gloria. Per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo, a te Dio Padre Onipotente, nell'unità dello Spirito Santo, Ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli. Amen. Fratelli carissimi, Brothers and sisters, these children are now being called true children of Christ. In confirmation, they will have the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and they will participate at the table of His sacrifice. In the assembly of brothers and sisters, and they can call God Father. And now in their name, and in the spirit of God's Son, that which we have all received, we pray together as the Lord has taught us. They are our Father. Venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo, così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano e rimetti a noi i nostri debiti come anche noi rimettiamo ai nostri debitori. E non abbandonarci alla tentazione, ma liberaci dal male. Liberaci dal Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Scambiatevi il dono della pace. 
the deacon there inviting us to exchange a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those that are called to the sup supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So it's time for communion now. We are Holy Communion time and the choir leading us in Il Signore e il mio pastore. The Lord is my shepherd.
slowly we begin to go towards the end of the this moving and solemn celebration, the baptism of our Lord. Pope Francis has just baptized 13 children, no doubt. When they are older, the significance of it all will form part of their memories. We did say at the beginning of the Mass that in some churches today, Sunday is being celebrated as Epiphany Sunday. For pastoral reasons, the Feast of Epiphany is moved in some dioceses from Friday to Sunday. In the Vatican, we celebrated Epiphany on Friday, and so today celebrate the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. When his time came to begin his ministry, Jesus went to Jordan to be baptized by John the Baptist. And with the Feast of Baptism of the Lord, the liturgical celebration of Christmas comes to an end. Ordinary time in the church liturgical calendar begins. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Il Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo spirito. Inchinate. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. Dio onnipotente. God the Father. Through his son, the Virgin Mary. Ha dato alle madri cristiane. Has brought joy to all Christian mothers. As they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mothers of these children. They now stand in thanks to God for the gift of their children. May they be one with their children in thanking him forever in heaven, Jesus Christ our Lord. God is the giver of life, human and divine. May he bless the fathers of these children. Together with their spouses, they will be the first teachers of their children in the ways of faith, May they also be the best teachers bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessing upon these sons and daughters of his. Amen. Glorificate il Signore con la vostra vita. Andate in pace. Glorify the Lord with your life. Go in peace, says the deacon, as he concludes this wonderful Eucharistic celebration in which Pope Francis blessed 13 children. And that's just about all we had for you on this live broadcast from the Sistine Chapel of the Celebration of the Holy Mass by Pope Francis on the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. Do visit the Vatican News website, vaticannews.va or our Facebook and other social media channels, Instagram, Twitter accounts for a summary of today's Mass as well as other coverage of the Vatican. Remember, we will return in just a bit at midday Rome time for the live broadcast of the recitation of the Angelus with Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square. If you can, do join us. Pope Francis still at the altar and... Um, just uh, removed his liturgical vestments and no doubt eager to greet and congratulate the parents of these children who have just been baptized.
So we leave you with these images. On behalf of Vatican Media, a blessed feast of the baptism of the Lord to you all. Join us for the Angelus at midday in just a bit. Laudate to Jesus Christus. Praise be Jesus Christ.